everyone welcome to my channel um i'm currently stood in rocky the road track uh we named her after we got a crocodile a blow up crocodile for my daughter and we called him rocky and i'm not sure how long he's gonna last but i'm hoping rocky the road track will last a bit longer anyway we like the name and hoping that we can go on some adventures in this she is a 1996 uh, Dodge Road Trek and she is the uh, 190 Versatile so it's got the two front seats, two passenger seats, uh, captain chairs as well as seating for two more in the dinette when that's up. I've got the bed up at the moment so there's no seating but uh, so as you can see I've got the child seats in place so when we first started having a go the children were in the back because i couldn't get the um children's seats to fit with the three point uh harnesses i've come up with a solution to that which i'll show you another time so the children are in the front now which is much better it means that they're not in a different postcode <laughs> when we're traveling because a lot of the time uh, my husband will drive in a separate car because he wants to drive wherever we're going so um it just means that i'm in in the car with the kid in the van with the kids on my own so it's just nice to have them a bit closer and i can actually hear what they're saying rather than shouting down the bus <laughs> to each other uh so that's been good uh one of the main reasons that i bought this was because it had that much seating it means that there's four proper seats and then two additional seats if we have any visitors or anything that's just super handy that they can travel with us as well and there's enough you know good seating for if sam does my husband does come with us then he can just hop in the front and that's no problem we also take our dog pepper uh, so she's got her little bed in here as well she often sleeps down there between the back seat and the front seat and yeah, we're going to be making a few modifications to it over the next few months, so I'll keep you updated with that. Uh, but it was just a uh, hello. We're a family of, well, four and a dog. Uh, myself, I'm Holly, my husband, Sam, my daughter, Letty, and my son, Jesse, and our dog, Pepper. And uh, we love to go camping. And this has been a perfect, obviously, I'm British. So going from British camping to Ontario camping in Canada it's quite different in terms of the temperatures that we um, are used to and obviously now having children myself uh, we found summer camping here in Ontario pretty difficult so this has air conditioning uh, so that's sort of transformed our ability to go away and have the kids actually sleep and it's got curtains also a benefit over tents as much as I love tent camping I've really enjoyed having the camper van and just being able to just get up and go. So yeah, we'll be taking you with us on some of our trips over the next few months. Hope you uh, enjoy the ride as much as we do. See you soon. I'm just gonna show you the quick mod that we did on the um, child seats because when we first put these in here um, with the shoulder strap through the back which they're designed to do this this is it clipped in but the the recoil the when it brings it back up through the top here it doesn't have a uh you know where it, it where it locks it in place so if you were in an accident it does lock and it does like stop the the seed but when you're just driving around corners it doesn't lock at slow speeds so we found on our first trip that we'd go around a corner and the car seat would just flop over with it. So what I ended up buying was just these seat belt clips. Super simple piece. Um, I think we ended up just getting these off Amazon. Uh, I can link it in the description box below. Uh, and what I did was put the seat in, get it all fastened through like I did before. Uh, but then sort of yank it down so that the lap belt part is super tight 
and then just put the seatbelt clip over the top of both the shoulder strap and the lap belt part and it just meant then that the seat was super secure in place obviously if you're in an accident that's not going to hold it but the seatbelt should do its thing when if hopefully it'll never happen you were in an accident the seatbelt itself that would probably pop off but the seatbelt will hold the seat in place so it was just for the going around corners and we found it and it works front facing because my daughter's front facing and rear facing for my son so it works on on both of those on the same principle that you're basically just making it into a lap belt by fastening them together like that and that seems to have worked pretty well because the rear seats that i told you about earlier they are just a lap belt they're not a three-point harness shoulder strap so that's why they had been back there um but we found a solution so they're up front and Letty loves it because now she actually can see out the windows because it's they're right in the middle and the windows aren't that big at the back so she's found that to be quite nice and actually she's got a cup holder that's like super exciting obviously being four five um and she's got great views so yeah she loves that so i just wanted to show you that little hack because that's transformed our driving <laughs> Are you going to sit on him? 